The Antom hate magic. They always talk about how much better Kunari are than everyone else. Now they worship elven gods for power? Hypocrites. But it explains why they pushed so hard into Ravain. With this, Demeta's crossing and the Blighted Dragons, and everything else we're all dealing with, feels like we're at war. A lot of little wars. Didn't take the gods long to attract support from all the worst people in Thedas. They're offering power to anyone who wants it. The Venatori and Antam won't question what it will cost. So how do we fight back then? We don't have an army, but we do have allies. Like the Veil Jumpers. After Demeter's crossing, it's personal for them. The Shadow Dragons, particularly after we help save their city. A debt the Viper will repay soon. Also, Lady Morrigan requested a meeting at the Cobbled Swan in Minrathis. Could she have found some trace of the gods? Probably. Morrigan doesn't visit crowded taverns for fun. I also heard from Grey Wardens out in the Hosberg wetlands, Antoine and Evka. Something strange is happening with the Blight there. I bet it involves the gods. The First Warden hasn't been thrilled with how I'm carrying out my duties. So are you a new one, huh? If we go to the wetlands, I'm hoping the First Warden's safely over in Weishaupt. Couldn't say. Still, you can't get in any more trouble with the Order than you already are. <sighs> yeah. Any details on the Blight in the wetlands? No. But you know how Antoine's normally got nice, neat handwriting? Yes. Could barely read his note. He's either excited, scared, or both. Gillanane has laid low since we hurt her dragon, but the Blight spreads rot wherever the gods go. And no one's better at tracking Blight than Wardens. Morrigan and those Wardens feel like our best leads on finding the gods. Are they really gods? Or just ancient mages? It's not clear. They're gods. In their power and wrath, at least. Lucanus, you're back. I am. Good to have you back. This is Professor Emmerich Volkarin, our Fade Expert, and Tash, our Dragon Hunter. They joined while you were away. Hey. Charmed. Right. Not everyone has met. So, a Dragon Hunter. Treviso could have used you. What's happening there? Hmm. It's just... People blame you for what happened to Treviso, Rook. But they did not have to make that choice. Knowing what the gods are capable of, there was no right call. Still, it changes things. How could it not? But you're back with us. Yes, here to stay. Good to have you back, whatever the circumstances. Everyone needs to be part of this. That's the only way we'll win. After what they did to Treviso? I want these gods to fall. I don't see anyone else with a better chance than you. My blade's yours. Until the end. Great. Let's follow up on some leads. I'll let Lady Morrigan know we're ready to meet. I'll send word to Antoine and Evka. They're holed up in a town called Lavendel. Everyone else should rest up. Be ready to move when I call. Never easy, is it, kid? What do you mean? Making the big choices, then living with the consequences. Feels like stopping two gods isn't the kind of thing that should get handed to a fresh leader. Though, someone needs to be in charge, right? Everyone's looking to me for answers. I have to be ready to give them, even when I'm not certain. And that's why I recruited you, Rook. I knew you could fill my shoes. Anyway, you've got a meeting with Morrigan to attend, and dealing with whatever the Wardens found. All this chatting has taken it out of me. Think I'll rest for a bit. Good work, Rook. You'll find your way through this. I know it. <laughs> 